Hello and welcome to this lesson. We're going to continue learning about writing formulas in Excel and uh, in this case we're going to learn about uh, using the sum formula and the average formula. In the previous lesson we learned how to do basic computations with adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. Here we're going to use some of the built-in functions of Excel, some of the most common ones that you'll ever find. So to get started let's um, collect some data. Let's say we know the ages of people in a room. All right, now one thing I want to point out to you, just one thing that, you know, is super, super useful. I, I don't like the way this spills over into the adjacent cells. I mean, it's all in B2, ages of people in a room, but it just seems to spill over. So what you can do is you can make the column wider, of course, but you probably don't want to make it that wide. So we'll make it just a touch wider, and I'll double-click this to edit, and I'll put my cursor after the word people. Now, if you hold the Alt key... And while you're holding Alt, press Enter, then it allows you to put a break in there uh, in your text and still have it contained in cell B2. So Alt, Enter is just a way that you can force a, a little line break there. And I, I like to do that a lot. So I just wanted to pass that on. So let me go and collect this data. Let's say we have a 32-year-old in the room. We have a 28-year-old in the room. We have a 34-year-old in the room. And we have a 56-year-old person in the room. So we have four people in the room. Now what we would like to do is two things. The first thing we want to do, just because,